What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. I'm down here in the beautiful uh, Devil's Den, the Florida Springs here in Williston, Florida. I've got a group of students down here and I've got a light here from Orca Torch. They sent me this light to do some testing while I'm down here. And so we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna read through all the different things that it offers here, some of the features of it, and then we're gonna take it down here in the water and we're gonna see just how good it is. So it just comes in a standard packaging. Um, it says on here that it's got a maximum looms of 1,050 looms. Uh, it's got a six hour uh, run time, maximum run time. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be grand total and not necessarily on the maximum looms here. And it's got a five degree beam angle. It says it's water resistant down to 150 feet. It's impact resistance. Also has a peak beam intensity rating on here, which is neat. If I flip it over here on the back, you'll see that it states that the high lumens here is 1,050 looms. The low lumens is 220 looms. And that's the six hour run time. It says on the high, uh, Lumums is going to run for an hour and 50 minutes, so just shy of that two hour time. Uh, we've got several other readings here it tells us about as far as the descriptions, pretty much everything that I stated on the front here. But let's go ahead and get it opened up, see what it looks like, see what all comes with it here. Um, looks like on the top part we've got a battery, appears to be a standard 18650 battery. However, this one looks like it has a little charger port here. So it looks like it takes a little USB, uh, micro or mini USB here. Uh, that one happens to be a micro USB. So I'm gonna assume, here is the charging cable. I'm gonna assume without using a standard charger that this is just gonna simply plug in here and then you can plug it straight into a USB. So I actually like that. I like that I don't have to carry multiple chargers. I can just simply use a little micro USB cable. So that's a neat little feature. I actually like that. Looks like we got plenty of paperwork here as well. Uh, looks like the owner's manual there is pretty neat. Uh, this is a warranty card. So you can fill it out, send it in, that way you can get warranty coverage if needed. Got a little lanyard here. You guys know I don't like these. Uh, hopefully this light I'll be able to tie some type of bolt snap onto, but there's a lanyard for it. Uh, looks like they sent us a little outdoor equipment sticker. Give that to your kids or whatnot. Does come with three spare O-rings. So I'm gonna assume that there's three O-rings on this light as well. So that's the components there. Let's go ahead and get the, the light out and see what all comes with the light itself. So we've got the battery and we've got the light here. Now the light itself appears to be, it's a push button design. So we've got a push button. This is the Orca Torch D530 light. So let's go ahead and open it up, see if we can get the battery installed. Pretty simple to open it up, very simple design there. So we'll go ahead and put the battery in. Screw it back on. It's got some type of rubberized grip here at the back. I really like that. It makes it easier to um, manipulate the housing of the light itself. Got it twisted all the way. As you can see, it's not coming on, so I'm assuming the push button's gonna do it. And according to the box, we've got a 1,050 looms and a 220 looms as far as high and low. So we turn it on. There's the 1,050, and then there's the 220 and it goes off. I don't believe this particular model has, it doesn't appear to have any type of strobe mode in it. It does have a flash mode there, but uh, it's pretty neat. It does have a little lanyard port here in the back for that wrist lanyard, or maybe if you want to tie on a bolt snap like that. Very easy to do. Um, that five degree beam angle, I, I've got a feeling it's gonna be a, a decent spot beam. We need it's actually gonna reach out there and touch something as well. Uh, I foresee this light being a really good primary light or even a backup light, maybe a primary light for say a recreational diver and definitely gonna be a backup light for a technical diver as well. But uh, we're gonna take it down here in the water. We're gonna see how good it does and then I'll kind of give you some final thoughts on this particular light. All right guys, so I'm down here at Devil's Den. It's a prehistoric spring down here in Williston, Florida. If you've never been to this location, it's an absolutely gorgeous place to dive. We bring open water students down here all the time. And on this particular trip, that's exactly what I'm doing. I've got open water students down here. And I thought this would be a great time to actually test this new Orca Torch light out. Now the reason I chose this site to test it out is simply because I have ambient light coming from the surface and I also have plenty of overhangs where there's absolutely no ambient light so it's going to allow me to test the light to see if it's going to be able to cut through the ambient light and through the darkness of the springs themselves 
So what I'm looking at here is, is I notice that the beam angle is very, very tight. I believe this is a five degree beam angle and it's more of a spotlight than a floodlight. That means it's going to cut through the dark. It's going to reach out there and touch something. However, I don't really have that backscatter or that reflection coming back at me whenever I shine it onto, say, a wall or a limestone or coral or something like that. A lot of times when you get really close to an object with a light, that light will actually reflect back into your mask and it will kind of blind you as a diver. And I'm not really getting that out of this light, so I really like that. As I get closer and closer to the limestone here, you'll see that the limestone kind of absorbs a lot. It doesn't bounce it back at me, so I really like the feature, or I really like the fact that this light's very, very powerful. However, it doesn't, you know, have that reflection effect that most powerful lights do. Now, I'm actually going to be comparing this light to my primary light that I carry, which is also a 1,000 lum light. So the Orca Torch is going to be slightly more powerful at 1,050 lumens, but I want to see the beam angles themselves in comparison. So the light there on my left hand, it's more of a flood slash spot beam to where the Orca Torch is um, primarily more a spot beam, having only that five degree beam angle there. Uh, but you, as you can clearly see with both batteries charged or both lights completely charged up, the Orca Torch is just absolutely drowning out the other light. Uh, it's almost like carrying a lightsaber around, which I really like underwater. I like to have a very strong, powerful light that's really going to cut through the muck. Even in this crystal clear water, I still want a powerful light. Maybe I can reach out to my buddy, signal if he's too far away or whatnot, and having a powerful light is very important for that. Now I want to move over to a darker area where there's absolutely no ambient light and want to see just how much this light will actually cut through the darkness and as you can see that light it, it's just blinding here uh, even with it being a five degree beam angle and more of a spotlight versus a floodlight I'm still able to see quite a bit when I shine it on the limestone uh, the limestone actually absorbs a lot a little bit and I can see quite a bit so the the distance there you know I'm probably 15 20 feet away from the limestone however as a light touches it it's going to kind of light up that whole entire area and then of course as I come back out of the little darkened area where there's no ambient light it's still just a very very powerful light hope I don't blind you guys with it by shining it in the camera but I kind of wanted you to see it from the perspective if you as a diver and somebody was shining the light directly at you all right guys so i just got done using the orca torch d530 and i gotta admit it's a pretty nice slide i actually compared it to the uh standard flashlight that i use a lot that i really like it's also right there at that thousand looms mark and i gotta say this one actually outdid it as far as the beam goes um the only thing even though i'm impressed with the battery of this one um, being rechargeable as far as not needing a recharger basically it just takes the charging cable itself to plug directly into the battery um, I actually like my other light as far as the battery is concerned because it just takes standard AA batteries and I can find them anywhere but other than that I'm actually very impressed with this light I don't think it's overkill on the three o-rings even though it's not a twist light that's just a little bit extra redundancy as far as keeping the housing seals so I do like that as well I like where the lanyard hole placement is as far as tying on a bolt snap. I think if I'm going to use this slide, I'm definitely going to tie on a bolt snap to it. Um, as far as operation under the water, it was very easy just to turn it on and off, just the push of a button. Um, I like the fact that it's it's basically a one inch shaft here, so we know it's going to fit in some type of glove system and we can very easily put it in there. And so yeah, as far as a primary light or a backup light, I think it's going to be a, a excellent light for any diver out there. It's the Orca Torch D530. It's going to be a uh, all-around great investment. They're relatively inexpensive. But if you want to know more about this light, there'll be a link in the description below. Definitely check out that link, um, and you can click over and read a little bit more about it as well. But guys, if you like this review, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.